Daniel Craig is the topic of today's haircut breakdown. And if there are any sort of celebrities or artists, or whatever that I can have, I can find pictures of that you want me just to break down and how to get those styles and I can help explain maybe the haircut instead of having to do the actual haircut on a mannequin or a model, you know, I'll still do those, but if there's, I can actually give you guys a lot more content when it comes to a specific type of, of people, if I can just simply break them down like this. So I got, this is a new GQ, and right away when I saw this, this is like the ultimate spring summer haircut. And what I want to do is just simply break down this type of haircut, how to get this look, and uh, let's, let's pretty much do it. So looking at this, so he's got, you know, everyone, everybody wants to know the hair type, or they have a lot of hair, is it fine, is it straight? He looks like he's got medium density, um, not too thick, not too fine. It's kind of that typical blonde where a lot of blondes have that look. Uh, let's go in a little bit closer here. A lot of blondes have this type of texture where it's a bit, you know, not, again, not very fine, not too thick. It's, it's really a perfect consistency. It's most likely 100% straight. He's got no wave or curl in his hair. And to me, from what it looks like, depending on the clippers that you're using, the sides are probably, I'd say like a number three guard, you know, or a two, you know, maybe like a two blended into a three, right into the corners, right into here. And then everything else, what I would do is do it by hand and cut the top to where the top is about an inch and a half to two inches long the most, right? And you can see it's a little bit longer here in the front. So that's where I'd say like, you know, an inch and a half, work that into the very, very front, which would be about two inches I'd say the most. And by looking at this spread here, here's another photo of his hair where you can see with no product in it, it's, it's relatively short in the front. But what makes this haircut unique is that, you know, and even in the GQ spread, he's got a variety of outfits on. You know, you can, you can dress this hairstyle up with anything, which I think is really, really cool. Here's him in a, a tux, you know, a nice outfit. And, very, very formal, but still cool. So that's it. As far as styling goes, you can use nothing, <laughs> you know, maybe some water, just lightly towel dry and let it air dry. Or for these types of hairstyles, I think a paste, like a matte paste is great, or even a powder, like my talc powder, right? Um, because the hair is very easy to work with. It's easy to mold. You don't have so much hair to work with that you need tons of product. It's one of those wake and wear type looks. And I think it, it's, it's a good haircut, so I'm really excited that uh, it's awesome to see that this was on the, he was on the cover and I can talk about this. So once again, guys, if there are any videos you want me to make where I break down the haircuts of people, you know, whether I have to print out the photos or find them on my phone or something, I'd be happy to do it for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.